Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss PDF document structure. As we know, PDF file is one of the most popular file format since people use less and less paper print document and more and more using e-document. And the PDF file is one of the most used e-document format, uh, like a bank statement, invoice, contract, and some legal document. document. So PDF files stands out for portable document format. And uh, the reference uh, document we are using is called a PDF reference. It's uh, able to be Google and download from the internet. So let's overview. So let's say the PDF, the Adobe Portable Document Format, the PDF is a file format for representing document in a manner of independent of application software and hardware and operating system used to create them and of the output device on which they are to be displayed or printed. So PDF file is used for the display and the printed. So PDF document is a consists of a collection of objects that together describe the appearance of one and more pages. So so in this short video, we are going to write a, a simple C++ program to dump the PDF file. As we know, PDF file is a binary file, and we just dump this to the convert it to the text file to see what this means. The PDF document is consists of collection of objects together to describe appearance of one and more pages. Here on the Linux, we create a one simple C++ program we call the PDF dump. What we do, we try to do, we use this called PDF dump. We take a two arg argument, one for the input PDF file and output is text file. And uh, so, in order to save the time, we just create a basic structure. So if argument is not three, we're going to exit this program. We need a two argument in this program. And the first argument is the input file. So we open this file as ii five stream. So as in and the binary. And if you cannot open, we just failed to open reading files and we open this argument two as the output file. So we scan the input PDF file and write into the output file as text file. So we can see how the object format structure of this PDF files. So, so after we can able to open in file and out file, and we make a loop. If in file is end of file, in file is not end of file, we make a loop. We continue read file into the in buffer. Okay, in buffer and the size of in buffer. So we create this uh, memory in buffer. It's a buffer size. So what is the buffer size? And the buffer size is one to 1024, we can make more and less, we just make 1024, and out we create another buffer called work buffer, and uh, it's the same size as the in buffer. So we starting, we make a memory set, work buffer as a slash zero, and uh, each time so we make a format in buffer memory, slash zero and then we read from file use the in file dot read method to read into in buffer and size of of in buffer. 
So after we read the file, what where we do, we do the forces. We loop the in buffer. So we make a loop byte by byte for this in buffer. So so we make a four i equals zero i less size uf in buffer and i plus plus so we do this number one loop for in buffer and if a printable byte and we move byte to the working buffer and if not printable we just convert this to the dot dot character so we can view in the text editor so let's see and the, the first way so if 0x0a zero is the change line change of this pdf5 format so we first do search here look so we create a chair called my chair and got the in by four from the in by for i byte to the chair which is here, and uh, we convert it to, to the integer to use in the int convert this. So, and then we say so if uh, this byte is 0x0a, zero zero means the change line or the work buffer is full, and uh, we write a work buffer to the output file. So, what we do, we just uh, making a copy paste. We cut, we come here to paste. So so if the my chair is the direct zero A means the change line, or the J is the index of the buffer, we start with zero and then we write the work buffer to the file, the change line, and then we reset the J equals zero and the reset the working buffer memory and go to read the next line from the file. And add, if not the 0x0a or the working buffer full, what we do, if it's a printable file, it's a printable byte, which means that my int greater than 32 and less than 127, we just move chair to the working buffer j and if it is not printable byte, we just uh, move the working buffer j as a dot. Then we, the j is a working buffer index plus one. So we make a loop and then we continue, finish all the, all the parts of the in buffer. We go back to read the next line to the in buffer. So after finish the file, we just uh, close in file, close out file, and then let me see what's going on. So this is very simple, and let's just save this. And make clean, make PDF dump. Okay, so, so now we have this, we are executable and we have two PDF file so we just making one of file and uh, this input and the output uh, we call the GCC .txt. so let's run this so this is a text file we generate let's see what it's going on so let's say the first line I say is the uh, header which tells uh, what version of this PDF file this PDF file is 
1.4. And, and after that, second line is just indicated this file is a binary file. And we, so you can see the third line. This is 1.0.obj. This is the object of PDF file. So each PDF file is a collection of object. So start from object 1.0 and, and to the end object, object. So this is one object. So each object start with a number of object and the data OBJ and the end with the end END object. So you look at the structure of this is the each object, there's an object and the and the object object has a type. So let's say the so so this is the page object. So the page object is like a number 5.0. So it means this object is the page object. And, and this page object is usually type is the page. And this page object has content. And the content is num object 6.0. So object 6.0 is stream. So it's an image, six object which I have specified in the page object. And the resource is 4.0. 4.0 is the font object. So the font of this page using is the 4.0. This called the resource in the page. And the media box is the position start from 0.0, .0 to the 612, 792 is the page size. And uh, so this is also that's a component uh, object as a member called a parent is the object at 10.0. So this is a kind of a PDF as document as specified. So PDF document consists of a collection of object together described appearance of one or more pages. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. In next couple of video, we are going to discuss the PDF document structure and how to validate and uh, handling the PDF document. Thanks to watch my video and uh, hopeful it's useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.